Hi guys, my name is Cameron Phillips with findyourphenomenal.com. Welcome to the Phenomenal Travel Blog, the best travel blog in the world. Today we're here to give you 10 amazing places in Italy that you need to visit. These are the top 10 places in Italy that most tourists go to because they're beautiful, because they're historic, because there's so many good reasons to go there and I'm going to share that with you today. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the Phenomenal channel, make sure to turn notifications on so you can be notified when we upload new amazing travel content from around the world. Also make sure to head to findyourphenomenal.com to find your phenomenal. Subscribe to the mailing list and find so much incredible content that will inspire you to travel the world. Tips for finances and make more travel happen. Tips for where to stay, tips for where to eat. So many amazing things that will help get you traveling faster. Coming in at number 10 is the city of Naples. The city of Naples has a very convoluted history. A lot of people love it, a lot of people hate it in terms of visiting. This is because a lot of the areas can seem on the more rundown side compared to other Italian cities. This is a no offense to Naples, this is just the truth. I would recommend going to visit Naples if you know where you're staying, if you know you're staying in a good area that's safe. I went to Naples and stayed in a very not good area and it was a very not pleasant experience because I was warned and I didn't take my camera outside because people would steal it out of my hands. That's a bad reputation. I don't want to be spreading that hate about Naples. Naples is historic and the reason you should visit it is because it's an excellent launching point to the islands. There's such a huge food tradition there. Obviously pizza, tomato sauce that you need to go and experience in the city that they were birthed in. Pizza in Naples is, the Neapolitan style pizza is my favorite. It is I think the best style in Italy. It is incredible and having it in Naples is an experience unlike anything else. The city has a very rich history as like almost every city in Italy. Actually, yeah, every city in Italy. And as long as you stay to the right areas and have a good plan of what to do, you will have an amazing time. Number nine is the Italian Lake District. This is Lake Como, Lake Guarda, all in the north region, north of Milan, right near the Alps. It is a absolutely spectacular place to visit. Lake Como is one of the most sought after destinations in the world and you can find endless activities in the summer and the winter months and every other season in between. So spring and fall. Stay at a beautiful villa or rent your own villa, lakeside or mountainside, and take in the beautiful views of the lake. It will be an experience that you will not soon forget. Number eight, Pompeii. Pompeii, lying in the shadow of Mount Vesuvius, it was, I'm sure you probably know, the ancient city that was destroyed when Mount Vesuvius erupted and covered the city in meters of ash. People were killed instantly and their bodies were preserved in the ash. They went in and put plaster in the cast of the bodies to make replicas of what it was like. It's an amazing museum to walk through and understand, or try and understand, what life was like hundreds of years ago when this all happened. It's an unbelievable place to visit and definitely should be on your bucket list to visit in your lifetime. Number seven is Sicily. Sicily is a place that has a culture and language completely of its own. Most Sicilians don't even believe that they are Italians. While they are a part of Italy, legally, there are so many different influences that have come to Sicily from the Arabs, from the Spanish, from the Africans, and from Northern Europeans. There's so much clash of culture there that's created its own beautiful world. The differences you'll find in Sicily from Northern Italy are profound. It will shock you. Mount Etna, the most active volcano in Europe, is located there. There's a ton of wines, seafood is produced there, and many Sicilian dishes that are different than typical Italian cuisine. Number six. Milan. A beautiful metropolitan city in the north of Italy, home to fashion designers from all over the world. Milan is an amazing place that incorporates industry and art to create this northern Italian blossoming wonderland of all things historic but also modern and innovation and there's so much life happening in Milan as well as their own style of cuisine that comes from that region and you're able to find so many little gems inside the city. It's a big city so there's lots of things to do and lots of places to stay and lots of places to go. Number five is the Amalfi Coast. One of the most renowned travel destinations in the world, the towns of Positano, Amalfi, and the other small towns scattered along the coast and up on the hills are an absolutely beautiful sight to see. Positano is maybe one of the most iconic beachfronts in the entire world. My recommendation is that you take a boat tour from the nearby town of Salerno. It's a lot easier than trying to drive up there. Taking the boat will bring you right into the port of town and you'll be able to explore the whole city and it'll be an amazing, amazing experience. The color of the water there will blow your mind. If you have time, take a bus up the hill to one of the small towns to get a look down at the coast. It will be an experience that will be unique and you will absolutely appreciate it. Number four is Cinque Terre. I've heard a lot of people say Cinque Terre. That's wrong. It's Cinque Terre. There you go. Now you know. It's really easy. It's like the Amalfi Coast, but it's north near Tuscany. There are five towns, thus Cinque, five in Italian, along the coastline. They're all beautiful and so scenic and you can actually hike between them. It's a long hike though, so there's also a train that runs between them. It is an amazing day or several several days if you want, exploring the Italian coast side. A total gem of the Mediterranean. Definitely would recommend and happily put this at number four. Number three is Venice. 
A lot of people have mixed opinions on Venice, but I am here to say that Venice is an amazing historical city that will no longer be the same in the very near future due to sea level rise, pollution, and a lot of other factors that are hurting the city. It is really important to go see Venice because the way this city works is unlike anything else in the entire world. It is truly a marvel. Venice also has huge historical significance being the center and the hub of trade from the Middle East to Europe. This place saw such an influx of culture. It is truly remarkable how it was developed. Number two, maybe the most heard of and popular city in Italy, Rome. Rome is an amazing mix of culture and history and art all coming together to create this metropolitan gem of a city in Italy. You have the Colosseum and the Forum, the ruins, but you also have the history of politics and government and Mussolini and like all this. On top of that, you have iconic works of art like the Trevi Fountain and all the museums and like there's so much history and things to do in Rome. It's it's amazing. What's great about Rome, easy transportation from the airport to downtown. There's a train that runs right along there. Of course, trains going all over Italy from that main, the Roma Termini station. You'll never get bored in Rome and you can truly live the iconic Italian lifestyle. And my number one place to visit in Italy would be Tuscany. The city of Florence and the surrounding Tuscan hills are truly the gems of Italy. So much of the world and so much of Italy were built around the thoughts that happened in Florence. Florence is a city that's full of history and life and culture and food and wine. Truly a remarkable place in the world. The surrounding hills of Tuscany, the Chianti region, the town of Siena, the town of Lucca. So much life, so much vibrant, so much brilliant. And rolling through the Tuscan countryside is unlike anywhere else in the world. You will absolutely love it. Those are the top 10 places to visit in Italy. My name is Cameron Phillips for findyourphenomenal.com. Make sure to subscribe our mailing list, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment down below if I missed somewhere in Italy that you think deserves to be on this list, and I'll see you guys very, very soon for a new phenomenal video helping you find your phenomenal.